Good morning, good morning, y'all. Um, we are here with the first Create the Life You Want OP with Susie. Um, I am taking over the time slots for Beck. She's taking a little break and she's going to be hoping, hosting pop-up hours and different things like that. So super excited to be able to have this time on Monday mornings. Um, so create the life you want. What does that spark in you? What does that, what does that phrase spark in you, um, about creating the life you want? So if anyone wants to chat about that or give initial feelings on that initial thoughts on that yeah foxy um i think that like the first thing that comes into mind is that um create the life you want is that we have the power to create the life that we want yes. that it's not it's not something that we can't um we can't do there's right. things you know that definitely play a part in our life that we don't have control over um yet uh there's a lot that we do and right. so um deciding how we react to um mm -hmm. the things that come our way that we don't have control over or mm -hmm. um you know what we our choices that we make yeah absolutely like this morning as i was prepping for this and just getting you know like getting excited about leading an action hour again and all of that i'm like how exactly what you said by foxy how powerful is it that we get to create we get to like creating is an action word and then that brings the question to me am i creating the life that i want and then that question is what life do i want <laughs> what do i want you know, so it all, it, we can start with the big picture. We can start like, that's how OPWP started was big picture. We can think of our big, grand, awesome, you know, purpose. And what about today? So what am I doing today to create the life that I want? And what are you doing today to create the life? Yeah, I think when I hear the word create, um, it's an action word, right? Yeah. So it means um, not only do you have the power, but it's about taking action to, uh, you know, determine and like I think of so many of the on purpose with purpose words, but to yeah. be intentional with our choices so that um, we're living the life we really want. So yeah. create part of creating it is knowing what it is, and then working towards it and making decisions that um, take you in that direction over time. Yeah, absolutely. Because how many times, like this makes me um, curious of how many times do we not even know what we want? So we may be, you know, going in circles like the hamster wheel, you know, to be yeah. able to say like, I think I want this, I think I want this, but we're going in circles instead of like, okay, so I just thought of the little hamster mazes. Have you seen those videos? They're on YouTube. Uh -uh. I think Jacob, Jacob would love them. Um, <laughs> Noxy does. But it's watching a hamster go through this maze that's set up. So it's like out of the poppers or out of Legos or, you know, whatever. Yeah. It's like a themed thing. But instead of, instead of going around in the hamster wheel, why not go through the maze and like get to the end that we want, you know? Oh my God. Have you read my notes yeah. <laughs> for my joyful July? <laughs> I have not. Uh, okay. Just remember the um, hamster maze. Yes. Thank so you. that's amazing because that's a beautiful connection going from <laughs> abundance to joy. And then I'm like, I literally got that picture in my head and I will be reading your notes on Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, so tell me more about that in the, we've got three minutes. For... Well, just create like what I, you know, what does create mean? Right. Like, um, you know, well, we're, we're always creative, creating, and I I know that a th part of creating is innovative ideas for um, 
getting clarity around what you want. Yes. So, um, that's how those tools and resources help us and get clarity. Yes. So the whole concept of a maze is part of the process of um, going through the maze, helps you get clarity as you go through Yes. That. And, um, you know, you were talking about getting to where you want to go is like a process. So um, I just was thinking about that when it comes to joy and joy is going to be your theme for July. Yeah. And um, I feel like in order to be joyful, um, you know, joy comes from within. And yeah. so the more the more clarity we have, the more of a process we use. Um, and we find tools and resources to support us. And I think mazes are great um, tools because yeah. they you find a stopping point where you're like, no, that's, I'm not going yeah. that way, right? Yes. That's not the way I want to go where, oh, this way takes me to where my heart really is. Yes. Um, and yeah. then, um, yeah, so I, I'm not going to say too much more because I, I know that you will create the exact right tool that will help um, our help us find our joyful hearts. Ooh, I'm already thinking about the hamster and the maze and all of that and in, <laughs> in in art in the coloring pages. Like how fun is that gonna be? And I just I thought of too, like in the maze, so with the hamsters, they've got to give them some treats along the way right? They've got to be incentivized for different things. Otherwise they may just sit there because they're like, sweet, that's too hard to get across. If there's not a win, you know, if I don't get to taste something good or, you know, that stuff. And so how many times in life is that, that we get stuck or we sit in a place, we choose to sit in a place because the incentive isn't there. So what can incentivize us to keep going? So yeah. Thank you. Thank you for my first mastermind back. Woo woo. And it is 10 a.m. Bye, Nancy. Love you. Um, I'm going to stop the recording.